Joining me now to discuss how we might dig ourselves out of this hole is Dr. Mercedes Carnathon, a professor of preventive medicine at Northwestern University and a fellow Tar Heel, and Lori Porter, the co-founder and CEO of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. Lori Porter, I, I want to talk to you because this is this is the kind of people that you represent. Uh, as we saw in, in, in that great package before, look, some places healthcare workers go and, and people cheer them and they're treated like heroes. They're, you know, the conquering people coming in to save everybody. And other places they're greeted with skepticism. How is your organization trying to protect people who have to basically be deployed to fight this battle around the country? Are the protections the same if I have to go treat people in Southern Illinois as if I have to treat them in New York? And, and how can we look after these people when they have to go to these places? Well, it's, I mean, on the front line, there's no one closer than the folks that are part of our organization, CNA Certified Nursing Assistants, that work at the side of nurses across the country in all healthcare sectors. And what we are hearing is unbelievable in terms of how they're being treated, even in places where they're given discounts. People behind them in the grocery store line will say, why do they deserve a discount? <laughs> it is harassment at every level uh, of, of health care right now. And we uh, uh, have 14,000 uh, nursing students that can't graduate because there's no one to provide their clinicals. And the same with CNAs. There are no nurses to serve as instructors and clinicians to support the very front line who's battling this. What is the one thing that healthcare workers want us to know about what they're doing? What's the thing that they keep telling you that they wish the public at large was aware of? Who they are, who a certified nursing assistant is on the front line up in the face of patients every day and in the nursing home setting where we've seen the largest loss of life and until we start there. I mean, hospitals are stressed, no doubt, but nursing homes cannot be forgotten in this, nor can all of the healthcare professionals and those working in healthcare today. There, This is a crisis beyond anything I think any of the three of us have seen in our lifetime. And America will fail if we do not find resources to strengthen and bring people in. As you mentioned earlier with the uh, uh, online learning, it's going to be essential. It will be essential for us to be able to provide enough CNAs to even begin to address this. America will fail if we do not support our healthcare workers. Thank you so very much, Dr. Mercedes Carnathon and Lori Porter. Oh boy, coming up.